Last X seen six days ago, Boros Agro. So a mirror of sorts, most likely. Mm, oh, wait, is it Convoke? I'm not looking at the deck list, but it might be Convoke. Yeah, well, Thrillseeker in the opening hand. Thrillseeker, not that great in this hand. Would it be better off as, what would it become for Thrillseeker? A Crash Through and a Springleaf Drum? Both of those would be pretty bad in this hand. Still going to keep this. I think St. Nick has tried Shrapnel Blast Experimental Frenzy at one point. I haven't tried it personally, though. All right. Convoke confirmed. Go. That they just can't play. Or hope that they at least try to dodge, try to prevent them from casting a Convoke spell. Ooh. Pause champ. Pause champ. I think we have stopped them from playing. Successfully stopped them from playing. Perhaps. Okay. I'm going to block. I'm going to go ahead and uh, block. Mm, that's bad. Oh, no. <laughs> Fuck. Where's my mountain? Any mountains? Yeah, we need rocks. I don't have any rocks. Fresh out of rocks. Hey, yo, huh? What did you just say, Pike? It's fine, they didn't draw land. That is not a rock. That is, in fact, not a rock. I'll happily trade a Flame Stoker for a token, I think. All right, we found out, we found out how to beat Convoke. I do think this is not normally a good matchup, but... You just have to hope that they uh, can't play magic. Uh-oh. All right. Really need to find some rocks this turn. Really, I, I am in need of some rocks. I need mucho rocks, please. Necesito rocco, por favor. Rocks? No rocks. Dedge. Dedge. Back. It's the one they got off the uh, Night Errant. Ooh. All right, we, we died. We have deceased. We have deceased. True. <laughs> yeah. As a matter of fact, we did not figure out how to beat Convoke. What would you play in a field of mostly aggro decks? Definitely Sack. If people... Here's the thing, right? The aggro decks are good against Grease Fang, but Sack is... Or, excuse me. The aggro decks are good against mono green, but the sack is good against the decks that are good against mono green. So you would, I would definitely play sack. Not dead, pause champ. Just kidding. Just kidding. <clears throat> definitely dead. Hmm. Okay. Volley coming in. These are bad. These are bad. I think Destroy Evil is bad. It does kill the Convoke creatures, but not really at a good rate. I don't think there's any way this is a Thrill Seeker matchup. Shave a draw two. You don't want to play Sack. What do you... Okay, let me ask you this. What do you want to play? Is it just me or is the Shuffler more rigged lately? Always has been Siege Rhino. How is Neoform versus Aggro? I don't think Neoform has any chance of beating Mono White, if that's the Aggro deck you're referring to. And I also would imagine that it's not great against Boros because they have four of these. So Neoform is probably not where you want to be. Man, I kind of want to keep this Springleaf Drum. I'm going to put back the second. Ah, this is like the perfect seven. I have to put back Chained, right? So then I can go turn one drum, turn two, Steamkin Chained. I think it's Chained. You want to play Lotus? Yeah, Lotus is also not great against the aggro decks, right? Lotus just gets raced. No, I think I think Drum is too high upside in the sand. Like the line of Drum into Steamkin Chain is too good. <clears throat> like I think this line is better than nothing on one, Steamkin on two, Chain on three. You know. Oh well, even better. Lithomantic is too bad against Grease Fang. You can't play Sorceries against Grease Fang. Yeah, Hushbringer's good against Convoke, too. Doesn't Hushbringer kind of fuck us, too, though? 
Wait, does Hushbringer stop only creatures, or is it any permanent? What's the text on Hushbringer? It's just creatures. Okay, got it. Mm -mm. Chat really throwing. Why is chat throwing? No! Badge. Well, yes, I am not casting Chain of the Rocks. I mean, if they had a Convoke Creature, they would have played it last turn, but I still think saving it's fine, because I can't keep them off a Convoke Creature. So I'll just wait. <laughs> Casting Chain just doesn't really accomplish that much. It doesn't keep them off of anything. Kill Thopter. Keep them off of Demolition, maybe. I mean, yeah, possibly. That's not the worst. Oh, I should have played Sir I should have played Swiss Spear first. That was a mistake. I definitely should have played Swiss Spear first. Okay. Not gonna get punished. Uh well, kind of am. Hmm. Let's think about this. I guess we can just double Swiss Spear pass. Have more blockers. Yeah, double Swiss Spear pass. We can probably kill them next turn. We can almost certainly kill them next turn. Ooh. Bailey, thank you very thank you very much for the raid. Hope you had a good stream. Played a little bit of Pioneer today. A little Pia. Some slight updates to Pia. I've been very impressed with this card. Big, big fan of this card. All right, uh, they are dead, but what is the best way to sequence this? Probably Impulse first. So let's start with Impulse. So we go here, here, counter on Steamkin. So I can auto yield to anything that's not Steamkin or Showdown triggers. Remove, resolve, do this. And go Pia counter here. They have scooped. Cool. All right, game three. We're playing Boros Storm, apparently. You guys heard of this new deck? It's called Boros Storm. Yeah, technically should have peed first, but it, it doesn't matter. I can just go through my entire deck there. But yes, I should I should have peed first. Uh. Sands fine-ish. I mean, I'm not opposed to playing Flame Stoker, but I, I think we might be able to do better than this. I think we could do better. What's the Thrill Seeker in the board for? I had him in the main. So the idea behind Thrill Seeker is when you're doing the like when you have the showdown reckless storm or the showdown um the showdown um Steamkin. The showdown Steamkin turns, you can have Thrill Seeker in play, and, and like when you're going and you're comboing off, you can just load up the Thrill Seeker. Yeah, and then you can fling it. But it, there's two in the main. I just boarded them out in this matchup. Go here. Here. That was a mistake. I should have killed their white creature, I think. Am I willing to trade Thrill Seeker for a 1 1? I think so, yeah. I guess maybe holding up the block is better. Yeah, it's free off Steamkin, too. That's a good point. How good has the Flame Strikers been? Steamkin's been nuts. Flame Stoker's been hit or miss. It's okay. Well, I'll trade it for a strangle there. It's been okay. Pretty sure they yeah, if they had a convoke spell, they definitely would play a convoke spell over casting strangle, so they don't have a convoke creature. That makes sense. So we get a 13. Alright, need a good impulse here. That is not a good impulse. I think we're playing defense. Yeah, we have to play defense, right? Yeah, we do. I want to try and prolong the game as much as possible. If it's between Flame Stoker versus Soulscar, yeah, that that's definitely the that's definitely the decision. We had Soulscars initially. We cut them for Flame Stokers. Second Bushwhacker would suck. No second Bushwhacker. So we get a nine. No lands. Need lands. Lands mod check. Mod check lands. Okay. They find another bushwhacker. May have. They did not. Okay, land. Surely I'll hit a land off of this. Reckless impulse, right? Surely. There we go. Um. 
I will pass. Nice chain of the rocks, by the way. <laughs> I'm having I'm having some difficulty finding rocks. I don't have any rocks. Need to add some more rocks to this deck. Okay, that's bad. That is worst case scenario. Never mind. Is their last card gleeful? It is. All right. Well, still not out of it yet. So they have six creatures, no cards in hand. No cards in hand is nice too because they can't bushwhack us next turn. Eh, come on, deck. You're killing me over here. Actually killing me. Okay, can I please find rocks? Can I please find some motherfucking rocks? Thank you. Rock acquired. I think I have to do this, kill the burning tree, block here, take four, go to four. And then I can go showdown, land, chain next turn. <clears throat> Need them to brick a little bit. Okay, seven, block one, go to three. Great. What's up, Tomber? Hmm. Um, so we just don't play the showdown now? We can go Flame Stoker, Chain, Rents Resolve. Yes, thank you for the 27. Bees, indeed. Dude, if we had timely reinforcements, we could never lose. Is timely reinforcements legal in Pioneer? I don't think it is, right? <laughs> it's pretty good, right, Big Z? I guess that was the wrong one to kill, because if they have a removal spell, they get to deal a damage. Hope you're waiting. Sunset Revelry. All right, dead to a swift breeze, but these don't draw a swift breeze. Kind of surprised they wouldn't cash that in. I guess they figure they can put me to one and still have lethal next turn. Well, that is a good draw. That is a good draw. I mean, we just go P a showdown and try to kill them next turn, right? P a showdown, no attacks. Coming in. Don't do it. Why? Why would I not cast the showdown? I don't get it. This is my only line, right? I don't see a different line. Can I attack? Is there any reason to attack for one damage? No, because then we died a Bushwhacker. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, we died a Bushwhacker, so. All right, draw a land and then Blood Token into a land and then we win next turn. Winning this game at one would be insane. Yeah, they get one redraw. Pause champ. Chat, do not pog. I repeat, do not pog. Whatever you do, do not pog. Imagine if I lost this game because I chained the Epicure instead of chaining a token. If they drew like a a destroy evil from my Chain of the Rocks and I lost to that, that would be hilarious and deserved. All right, that's a good start. New here, how do we win? You'll see. Oh, you'll see. Don't worry. Next turn, we're going to have some fun. Well, I'm going to have fun. I don't think my opponent's going to have fun. I certainly will have some fun this turn, though. I have enough red spells to trigger the Steamkin, right? I think I should. Steamkin, and then I can go... Actually, I'm a little bit short, right? I might not have enough to trigger the Steamkin. Oh, right, I have the Showdown, right? True, 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 true. Yeah. So we go counter here, I guess. Yeah, right. And then we go colorless drum, because it's free. Spill my blood for you. Yeah, we're going to kill them this turn. Uh, red here, impulse, between my enemies. Yeah, we have Flame Stoker too. Like, we can't brick. I think it's impossible to brick here. Here, here. White, chained. Uh, counter here. Doot, 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 doot. Counter there. 
chain their blocker, make red mana, play a showdown, <laughs> opponent punching air. Yeah, true. <laughs> this went pretty well. Won the game at one life. As the kids say, one life is not zero. <laughs> one life is, in fact, not zero. Sick. That was dope. <laughs> that was sick. Whew. Here's the thing. If your deck can play Gigantha for quote-unquote free, like, if you're not sacrificing anything major in deck building, there's no reason not to play Gigantha. It's just a free card. Thanks, Snack Bar. Look, if we don't 5-0 now that you jinxed it, you, you owe me. Just saying. It's all your fault if we don't 5-0. This deck can probably cast Gigantha on turn 4, right, with Steamkin? See, you think that we're a Boros Pia deck, but we're actually secretly disguised as a Gigantha Ramp deck. That's what we're doing here. It's just a facade, you know? The the Pia stuff is just a smoke show for the real, the real Gigantha deck. I don't want to kill that. So I won't. No, I think I will not kill that. I think you can have a 2-1. Gigantha does cast Pia, yeah. Flipstarbers. Thrill Seeker time, baby. Thrill Seeker time. Um, hmm, where do I want the counters? I think I would like the counters... Well, the problem with putting the counters on the Swiss Spear is I don't get to attack with it this turn. But it is nice, because then the Thrill Seeker can just kill the Bodyguard, and then I could just have a bigger Swiss Spear. Yeah, that makes more sense, I think. I'm, I'm giving up three damage. Well, I'm, I'm only giving up one damage, right? Because if I go Thrill Seeker into Swiss Spear, I attack for one. But if I go Swiss Speaker into... Th Swift, Swift Speaker and uh, Thrill Seer, then I'm only missing one damage, so yeah, it's fine. Go away. Yeah, because then we get a bigger creature and then we can just throw this at this. My Twitch dashboard keeps like doing weird stuff. It's like it's been bugging out lately, showing for a second that I had no followers. I thought everybody unfollowed at once, and I was sad. No blocks. Shieldred's Edict is $2. I might have like a stack of those. Oh, yeah, the Moxfield, we made a couple, we made like two small changes. Uh, I'll show you real quick. We cut the Crash Through and the third Springleaf Drum for two Thrill Seekers. And then the, in the sideboard, I cut three Strangle for a two Abrade and one Volley. I just didn't update it on Moxfield. What did we trade for Bodyguard? Um. Can I just do that at any point? But if they have Thalia, I might would I might would I might rather kill Thalia. So we can go chain, kill this, get back Swiss Spear, play Steamkin. Gonna need one of them their showdowns though. Gonna need one of them their showdowns. And then we can hold up the Thrill Seeker activation with the drum and the Steamkin. Yeah, I think two is the perfect number of drums, because you really never want to draw the second drum. Two feels like the right number. Are you ready for this top deck showdown? Type a one in the chat if you think we're going to draw showdown of the Scalds. <clears throat> two. Two, 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 two. Ossification. Maybe they'll target Thrill Seeker. Mm. I feel like I'm getting jabated. They don't have a third Ossification. Also, even if they have a third ossification and they kill this, it's not that bad. Yeah, see, this is why I didn't want to sack the body, the Thrill Seeker. Because I'd much rather kill this. Uh, oh, let's go. Kill Thalia, play Swiss Spear. Chat, you know what time it is. It's everybody's favorite time of the day. This is like the weirdest game that I've ever played with this deck. Some weird stuff going on. Both of our draws were very strange. Okay. Winnable. Winnable. Go to 12. All right. Go. Honey beat a 5-5. Five five. Good luck beating my 5-5. Five five. Hello and good luck. I forgot about the castle. That attack was probably bad. 
I just I I miss the castle. I have castle blindness. Literally have castle blindness. See, this isn't fair. We're both flooding, but they have a land that does something, and I don't. Should we put a castle Ardenvale in our deck? We have enough white mana to activate it, right? Well, they can't trigger the initiate this turn, correct? My lands do something. They sure don't look like they do. I mean, I'm bound to draw a showdown at some point, right? I think I double block Thalia. I, I can't play around anything. If they drew an Aganjo, they drew an Aganjo. Okay. Why do we have a drum? Why not? I don't even think Embereth would be that good. Embereth wouldn't make my attacks better. Like, I still couldn't attack into the Thalia there. Yeah, Den could be good. I think I played one Den at some point. Okay. Uh, no, that's not a good draw. So I can attack, they make a token, kill the bodyguard. I'm going to go to combat first, because they're definitely going to make a token. But I have to kill the bodyguard so they don't get another counter. Eh. I guess they're not getting a counter on the initiate either way. But I'm just going to do it this way. Have we ever had Spell Mastery? Mm. We found Spell Mastery on the turns where we have Steamkin... When we have Steamkin plus Showdown going, we have Spell Mastery on those turns. Does that count? We have Spell Mastery on the turns that our opponent has died. It's got to count for something. Yeah, Castle Castle's probably good in some spots. Also, Castle very good with Pia. It's pretty interesting. Valiant number three. I never thought about Castle with Pia. That might be something worth looking into. And we're already playing a bunch of mountains for Chained. We could probably support it. Go. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, because you can't really you don't really want to cut mountains for castle because then your chains get worse and the castles themselves get worse. So, yeah, it is kind of weird. You'd probably have to add lands at that point. Like, remember the theory in Convoke where we were adding castles as our like 19th and 20th land. So you would just play you would just play like 21 or 22 lands at that point. You wouldn't cut a land, you cut a spell because castle is effectively a spell. Hey, a spell. Speaking of, kind of drew a spell. Let's go. I mean, could be worse, I guess. Uh, I wonder if I should save those for Pia. It's probably better. Maybe I should save one. I think I'm going to save one. Yeah, I'm going to save one. Uh, still can't really attack. Yeah, four showdown main. Four showdown, four impulse, four resolve. Mm-mm. Oh, I just realized this was a reason to not play the, the Steamkin, because it if I left it at night they and they drew Brutogathar, they couldn't kill the Gigantha. So that was a reason to not play Steamkin, I think. I hadn't thought about that. Uh, I guess that's another reason to... Still might be fun. Flamestoker's been good. I like that card. Those are good cards. Those are good cards. So, Spikefield, Thalia, Chained, Adeline. Maybe I can attack this turn. Spikefield, Thalia first. I really hope they didn't draw Brave. Brave would be an absolute disaster here. Okay, it doesn't look like they have Brave. Now the question is, do we have attacks? So I'm at 8. They cannot make a token. They definitely don't have Brave, because they would have cast it. If I send everything, they have to at least chump block, which means they chump block Gigantha, go to 3. And then even if they draw Lieutenant, they only have 6. There's no way they would have sandbagged a Lieutenant, right? If th there's no way they would sandbag a lieutenant there. I just don't believe that. They can't Aganjo. They only have two mana. Do they? Once I kill the Thalia, they can't Aganjo me. So it doesn't matter. I love Nocturus. I've, I've actually seen them live once. They're very good. What a game. What a... That was a weird one, too. We, like, bricked for so long. <laughs> Alright, bring in the removal spells. I don't know if I want Absence. Maybe I do. Can't Chain of the Rocks here on Eternal Scourge. Ooh. We're cooking, huh? We're cooking. I think we cut the Thrill Seekers. 
Uh, yeah, I added braids to the sideboard. I cut the I cut the the rancid uh, strangles. That card sucks. Feels weird to cut a Ren's Resolve after how that game played out, but I think I want to do something like this. Because, well, maybe I just cut two Steamkins. We're not really trying to combo them, right? We're just, we're the control deck in this matchup. You want to trim a Showdown? I mean, I guess you want to trim a Showdown because of Thalia. But we have uh, 12 one mana ways to kill Thalia. I think I'm going to do this. I don't want to cut a Showdown. Maybe that game was just a really, maybe that game was just an anomaly and I shouldn't be using that to like, th that's not how the game usually plays out. We need to be able to pitch Eternal Scourge to an Evoke Elemental. Wait, is there a way, is there a way to make cards in your hand a certain color? Does Painter Servant, yeah, so you Painter Servant named Blue and then you can pitch Eternal Scourge to Force of Negation. Hmm. We already have Miss Griffin. Yeah, but it's not enough. Also, what if I want to pitch Eternal Scourge to a different pitch spell, like a Fury or something? Or maybe a Grief. Painter Servant named Black. Right? Come on. You gotta think about the lines. Painter Servant named Black pitched a Grief. There you go. Figured it out. Broke it. Yeah, what does Black have? Black has nothing. Yeah, we broke Painter. We uh we we did something. I don't know if we broke Painter. Not casting a removal spell feels really bad here. Because if I don't cast a removal spell, they get to go attack with bodyguard and then pump both initiates. Ah, this is so tough. Like if I go flame stoker impulse, I'm just taking six. Maybe that's fine. Maybe I'm just okay with taking six. Because if I flame stoker volley kill bodyguard, the man is I don't get to use my mana efficiently. Ah, this is a tough spot. This is a really tough spot. <clears throat> I think my hand is a little too clunky, and I may have to just develop one of these draw spells here. Yeah, I think you're right. I think I just have to eat the eat the six. It feels really bad, but I think this is just what I have to do, given the context of my hand. It sucks. It sucks, and I hate it here, but it is what it is. Those aren't terrible. Not the worst. Stoker, Gamble, Ren, get a land and volley. I've already played my land for the turn. This is my turn, too. Yeah, Thalia would ruin us. That's bad, too. Not the end of the world. It is bad, but... Chained off the top? Chain would be nuts. Pretty sure we just have to play damage control. So we go... Uh, here. Time to play damage control. I don't think I'm winning this game. Would I have been a, in a better position if I had gone Flamestuck or Volley? I mean, slightly, but not that much better, right? Am I ever chump blocking with Flamestoker? I think it's probably better to play around Brave. I guess if they don't have a pre-combat human, I can check the Thalia's Lieutenant. But then I also have to... Sh no, I wouldn't have to Shock, but then it's just too bad if they have Brave. <coughs> I've tried Abbott before. I I really don't like Abbott. Okay, go to three. We have to Ren's Resolve into like double chained. Double chains probably are only out. Not two lands. All right, let's go to game three. Hmm. I don't think my hand was a mulligan. I thought my hand was fine. Like it was what two lands, drum, flame stoker, removal spell, two draw twos. You mull that hand? I don't think so. I don't feel great about this. What's this? Asmo food by Kitty Man. Asmo Epicure Engineer Scrapwork. Whoa, that's a Grease Fang. Grease Fang jump scare. Grease Fang jump scare. Three part alien. Smuggler's Copter. Right now. Can we get some motherfucking 07s in the chat for Smuggler's Copter? Wrongfully banned. They could bring back Smuggler's Copter today and it would it would be okay. It would it would be okay. Just saying. This deck would play copter? Absolutely. Every deck would play copter. 
It's possible I should have led with... I wanted to lead with this in case they had Thalia. Got a little punished, though. Got a little punished. Could have attacked with this, but I think I'd rather hold back to double block. They're likely going to cast it. A Brutal Cathar or a Ossification, so I want to be able to threaten a double block here. Three cards of his expertise in the board for a board of this deck for the green matchup. You lose Gigantha, but against green, Gigantha probably doesn't matter. I could see it. I don't know if that's better than playing a Falter. These draws. Sheesh. She e e eesh. Your turn. Chat, why you're so weird? You're gonna be weird, at least Prime Sub. Speaking of which, anybody got any, you got any Prime Subs? Anybody got any free Prime Subs in the chat? Any Primers? Oh my god, we made it a fucking command. What are you doing? <laughs> oh no, we're having mod fights. Mods! Literal mod fights. Stop! Stop! Leave my things alone. Leave them alone. Can you, can you not? Like, can, can we not do this? Please? Fragile. All right. Good card. Good card. Good card. Eh, it's not a bad card. I have to main phase it. I think it's more important to do that than kill the, uh, the Lord. Pretty sure. <clears throat> Just stop killing my stuff, please. Come on, man! My brother in Christ, can you not? Good God. Stop. 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 Good trade. Probably half the trade. Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> Come on, deck. Please. Bruh. We think when they designed PA was that the intention for companions to trigger it. No, I think they're far enough apart that that wasn't the case. But that's an interesting thought. I mean, if I draw showdown, I think I'm still in this game. Oh, wait, am I dead? Three, six. Oh, yeah, I'm just dead on board. Well, uh, it's hard to win a game when you draw eight lands. Shocker. Yeah, <laughs> is dead on board. Guys, we can still win this game. Don't worry, guys, I got this. That sounds good. Playing that awful dredge list. P Shut up, Turtle Power. Just let me cook, all right? Can you please let me cook? It won a 48-person RCQ. It has to be broken. Legends Gamers also could be the uh, four-color Gracefang deck. How is Jeskai Dragons? About as medium as you would possibly expect. Um, I do not know how that person won five matches in a row with that deck. I can't figure it out. Zero Modern Green, Greasefinger Rectos, probably, yeah. It was pretty funny. That person actually commented on my, uh, I don't know if they, it was, maybe they commented or they were in chat last night, but they did say, uh, that the deck was bad and they didn't know how they 5 out. <laughs> they did say that. It was you, Shnan, right? <laughs> All right, Greasefang sighted. Respang sighting. I don't think... Maybe I do develop the second Steamkin here. Develop second Steamkin, tank a big hit. Yeah, let's let's Steamkin here. There's like a, a somewhat... There's, there's a chance we just kill them next turn if we develop the Steamkin here. I mean, even if we get Greasefang, we can just take 13. And still, again, probably kill them next turn. Not probably, but we have a chance to kill them. That's also not a Grease Fang. Deal. I accept. How's the Steamkin version? I have been... Okay. I will say I was wrong, guys. Okay? I know it doesn't happen often, but I was wrong. I said last week that this card was really bad against Rakdos. And that, that fact still remains true. Uh, however, it's completely obscene in every other matchup. <laughs> like, as long as you're not playing against the card Stomp, this card is broken. It's completely insane. Yeah, there also hasn't been a lot of Rectos recently. Mm, 
Okay, so we go Mountain, Pia, Mana, Resolve. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Still have to get a little bit lucky off these resolves. Because we have no white mana. Yeah. Uh, is it worth using the Steamkin to pick up Gigantha? I'm one mana short of Flamestoker, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, wait, how much does this cost to activate? Yeah, I need, I need one more mana. So, I feel like I should probably save the Steamkin mana. I don't think Gigantha's going to matter this game. And I think it's more important to save the Steamkin mana. Yeah, I can also, even if I wanted Gigantha next turn, I could just do it. You know what I mean? It's like a Lotus Petal where you don't have to do it that turn. Like, you can just do it, you can just do it next turn. <clears throat> yeah, 4-4 four, four is a better blocker, too. Now we might die. 13. Yeah, they can probably kill us with Rafine. It's 13 plus 1 is Rafine. And then they get, if they discard uh, 6 spells, they can kill us with, they can kill us with the Connive. Assuming they have the Grease Fang, which I think they do. Yeah, I think we're dead. He did one more turn. One more turn. I mean, maybe they don't discard six spells, right? Five, five, six. Oh, that was a mistake. They definitely should have attacked with everything, right? By the modern prelim turn on stream. What time's the modern prelim? I feel like they should have went for a kill there, but oh well. We take those. Dub. Yeah, they needed four other... Oh, wait. Could they have only put me to one? Did I do the math wrong? Oh, they stacked the triggers wrong. Right, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They stacked the triggers wrong. They may just not know how it works. <clears throat> 5 p.m. Central. Okay, so let's go... Mountain here. Make a 1-1. One, one. Um, we just flame stoker first, right? So this is this costs five, so three, four, five. Start here. Those are good. Those are good. God, it's really unfortunate that I'm not gonna have white mana because I have to tap the vantage to cast the fiery impulse. I guess I could find a spring leaf drum. Yeah, I could hit. I could hit a drum. Come on, dude. Come on. Stop. Stop. My brother in Christ. There's only 19 lands in my deck. Just saying. There's only 19 lands in my deck. It might be enough to survive, because I can make a bunch of flyers. No, it's probably not enough to survive, right? Yeah, I don't think it's enough to survive. Because we get three flyers. Yeah, I think we just die. Damn it. So close. If we hit, you know, some spells, we would have been fine. Because we have three flying blockers, but they, but they could just Grease Fang again. Yeah, we're dead. Man, that sucked. <laughs> that was kind of depressing. Yeah, somebody 5 0 with, uh, I'll show you. Somebody 5 it was in the 5 0 dump. I'll find the list. Oh, yeah, I think Dykeman copied the list, but this is the list that was going around. That's a uh, DBZ player in chat. They usually, that, it, the, the, so that, that list initially started as a donation deck, and it just kind of took off from there. I think DBZ 5 0 a couple times with it. I've been updating the list. All good things come on Dono Thursday, just like Garuda. <clears throat> Need to do a lot of chores when I get off work. Give me some kind of kick-ass motivation. Your fucking chores. Four hopeful initiate. Yeah. <laughs> Is that motivation? All right, Grease Fang, huh? Folly of Braid. I think that's it. You mind if I hand in the donor deck for you to try Muddle Black Fish and Pioneer? Yeah, we can we can do it for next week. If you want to snack bar, just uh, all, what I want, what I would recommend is put a list in the donation deck channel in the Discord and tag me. So I don't forget. But we can do it next week. I'm gonna cut the Thrill Seekers, Trim. Um Chained is a little bit better against this Grease Fang list because they have Shieldred Emery. Shave a Steamkin. 
Shay the Flame Stoker. Let's try that. Alright, play first. Play first. What's the point of Thrillseeker? It's we're testing it out. The idea is with Showdown of the Scalds, there you can have these really big burst turns where on second chapter of Showdown, if you have a Steamkin, you can kind of quote unquote go off where you just like Steamkin, play a spell, play a spell, make mana. And every time you're playing a spell, you're putting a counter on the Thrillseeker and then you just get it to like a 10 10 and kill them. Hasn't come up yet, but. Yeah, I think Flamestoker's good. I've been a big fan of Flamestoker. Flamestoker is also a lot better if you're playing with Runaway Steamkin. Alright, this is riskier, but it's better if I hit a land up that runs Resolve. Surely they don't have second portable hole. Yeah, I'm okay with that. A-OK -okay with that. Oh, I got punished for playing the Vantage last turn instead of the Mountain, right? I guess it's fine because I have Volley. I really don't want to Volley this, though. <laughs> I'm just going to hope I hit a white source. Eh. I could play the mountain first. It's, it, the only punishment is if I hit exactly two lands off of the impulse. Well, I guess the other argument is I don't necessarily have to kill the Emery yet. I'm just going to do it this way. Oh, well, that's like perfect. I don't even really need to kill the Emery yet, right? Yeah, I could just hold. Because I'd much rather kill a, I'd much rather kill either a Grease Fang or a Rafine next turn. <laughs> you miss Rakdos mid. You miss absolutely shitting on Rakdos mid. <laughs> I feel like everybody. I feel. I feel like every single deck in Pioneer has a good Rakdos matchup, with the exception of like maybe Spirits. Ooh, that's a heads up play. But I can just, I can kill this Embry with a trigger on the stack. I will do. I hit a portable hole too. I'm so smart. I'm so smart. Okay. Let's do this. Hold up mana. Attack. Guaranteed has Grease Fang. I mean, I have a second volley in hand, so who cares, right? But yeah, they probably have Grease Fang. Don't surge me, bro. If they have surge, this is gross. Okay, they don't have surge. How did the Twitch builds go yesterday? We won one match, which is more, one more match than I thought I was going to win. Yeah, and then you have the Rakdos players that think they're favored against everything. There's no in between, you know. That's like a, that's a very classic, a very classic discussion within the Pioneer community. Rakdos players think they're favored against everything, and then everybody else thinks they're favored against Rakdos. There's Nobody thinks they have a 50-50 matchup when it comes to that deck. We did win with a quarter shield. Oh yeah, I'll show you the screenshot. I took I took a screenshot of our victory because it was so glorious. The one match we won last night was unironically because of a quarter shield, giving vigilance to my construct token. So we play a little attack and a little block. It's great. I mean, I want to keep this, but I'm not going to. Speak to me. <laughs> Thought about making a video with eight shields to my card board for meme equity. <laughs> that would have been so good, Bobby. I would pay to watch that. Eh, should have attacked before playing my land. Yeah, the old shock and then go to combat. No big deal. Sequencing. Sequencing. Hey, Rafine. An Emery. I don't give a shit about that. They didn't mill a vehicle, so I don't have to worry about that shenanigans. I do want to kill the Emery, though. Bazinga. Bazinga. Do we have a Shieldred? I did show a Shieldred in game one. I'm sure I can beat a Shieldred here. It's going to be tough. <laughs> uh oh. 11? Ah, I mean, I don't know. What do you want from me? What do you want from me? What do you want me to say? I, I, what do you want me to say? <laughs> what, what do you want me to say, chat? I don't know what you want from me. 
<laughs> this game's easy. Let's see it. How much is the premium membership? It costs one Twitch Prime subscription to twitch.tv slash doomwake per month. Can confirm. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of what I'm saying, Vitamin. It's kind of like what I'm saying. Is the CC3 creature performing? I think I've only cast it once. And I did sacrifice it to kill Athalia, so it did something. Yeah, this is definitely the version I've, I've, I've liked the most, Tucker. Big fan of Flamestoker, big fan of Runaway Steamkin. I almost think that you might want to split Fiery Impulse and, and uh, play with Fire, because there have been a couple of spots where I kind of really wish this was play with Fire. So I think a 2-2 split might be good, but everything else is nice. I think they have a Fatal Push. Uh, I'll, I'll play Scared. I'll play like a Coward. Yeah, kind of, kind of punished for doing so. It's fine. We can just go Mountain Steamkin and then turn four. We can go Pia Resolve. I usually run four. It's definitely the high upside play to play Pia. But also kind of a disaster if they go like Oven. Um, oven Claim could be bad for us too. Okay, that's pretty good. Now we have a good turn. Kind of worked out. We can go Pia Resolve next turn. What set was Pia? And it was in Aftermath. Is Broccoli requesting Shania Twain? Based. Incredibly based. Oh, right. I keep forgetting to update the Mox Field. Give me a second. Give me a sec. I'm going to do it right now. Okay, so I cut. Uh, the Crash Through is gone. The. What else did we cut? The Springleaf Drum. We cut the third Springleaf Drum, and we're playing two. Aldarin, Thrill Seeker. And then the sideboard, we cut these Rancid Strangles for two Abrade and third Rending Volley. Okay, save. All right, if you refresh the Moxfield page, it should be updated. What am I discarding? Probably Fiery Impulse. I'm turning this one up. Louder? How loud are we, how loud are we talking here? How loud? Way too dank. Hmm. Kind of want to go Steamkin, Ren's Resolve. I, st I really want to slow roll this Pia. I'm going to slow roll the Pia for one more turn. I'm going to do it. Uh, that's kind of perfect, right? Because I can go Pia, Thing, Remove, Cast Another Thing. Yeah, that's kind of perfect. Gonna get punished? How? Do, well, I mean, I might get punished. I also get more punished if they have fatal push, right? Let's see. Although I guess now they just fatal push this. Well, if they fatal push this, I'll just play double impulse, right? It's not even that bad. All right, they did fatal push. They cannot croxa. That's good. Okay. Winnable. 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 Yeah, now I think I just go Impulse Resolve, and then I can go Pia, go absolutely ham next turn. Right? Yeah, I like this. They're going to sack this to kill this, but whatever, that's fine. Even keep this in hand to discard to the thing. Uh, Well, that might change things. Huh. Now I can probably just play the land from hand. They croak, so I discard Pia, and then I go Pia, Swift Spear, Swift Spear. Did you have to cast? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Both the the two resolves were from last turn. So if I didn't cast both of them this turn, I would have lost them. Flamestoker's been good. I've been a big fan of Flamestoker. Yeah, if we had been able to save a resolve, that would have been a lot better, I agree. Because now they get to kill this, which is annoying. I knew that was coming. I knew that was coming. All right, in the queue. This has turned into a Shania, Shania Twain fan club stream. Not that I'm like that upset with that. Oh, they sack their blood, right? They can't kill this now. That might have been a huge error. I feel like they really wanted to blood tithe. I guess if they didn't sack the blood EOT, they didn't have Bana for Kroxa, and that's what they were worried about. No, because they just sacked the Harvester, right? Yeah, that was just a straight-up punt. Because if they Harvester instead of blooding, they still have the extra card in the graveyard. That was just a punt. 100%. The blocks. Still kind of need a good draw here, though. Hmm... We have no spells for this Flamestoker. So we can go Pia, land, swift, swift, flame, just dump our hand. Then we can chump block the Kroxa with this Flamestoker. 
<laughs> so you went five oh. Do I race? They go to 11. They attack with both. I go to 12. Chump block croaks. I go to 9. Problem with racing is they have the food tokens. 15 block. 2, 5, 7, 8. Mm. Nah, no attacks. No attacks. All right, we got two more song requests. All right, we got one for Moxie and one for Gaunti. There you go, in the queue. Love to see it. Just attack with Kroxa. That's fine, now I can just block with Thopter. You see the clip where she performed this song, change Brad Pitt to Ryan Reynolds Live? No, I didn't see that. That's That's funny, though. Goodness, chat's chat just wants to ruin the playlist, huh? All right, in the queue. <clears throat> I mean, it's better than requesting troll songs, so I I do appreciate that. I'm gonna turn it back down a little bit though. It's a little way too dank. Fable, fable. Depends on your definition of ruin. Also, chat, this is a good time to say thank you all for tuning in. I appreciate y'all being here. If you got a prime sub that you want to throw my way, would greatly appreciate it. We are approaching our sub goal. After last night, we are very, very close to playing some pure modern. So if you're uh, having a good time and you're liking the stream, enjoying the content, you want to drop a little prime sub, help your boy out. That would be greatly appreciated. Exclamation point prime for more information. And you get to hear the awesome new sub notification that we have. XTR8TORX, thank you for the prime. What'd they do? That's a good draw. That's that's a good draw. We call that a good draw. I got a lot of them. <laughs> true, 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 true. True, 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 true. Uh, those are not good draws. So this costs three, right? I feel like I should do this first. Try and spike chained. I'll play my land first. Oh, they killed Pia. Oh, they claimed Pia. I see. Okay. Let's do this. All right. Can I have a chain to the rocks, please? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to do this. Eh, that was worse than playing Swiss Beer, I think. They conveniently tapped their Witches Oven for me, which I appreciate. I should have played the Swiss Spear that turn, so the next turn I can go Pia into Mega Token. But I'm pretty happy with this. I think I just attack with the Swiss Spears. Put them to 8. They're not going to block. Yeah, that's fine. What do you think about Blue White Lotus? I am not a big fan of the Blue White Lotus deck. I guess I probably could have assumed they were going to make this trade. Do I think Pia or Convoke is the better deck in Pioneer right now? I think they have different matchup spreads. I think Convoke is better in the linear matchups, but I think Pia is a lot better against Rakdos. So it kind of just depends on what you expect to play against. All right, TP song request. It's definitely going to change the vibe up when we get to it. Vibe check, vibe check. Have I seen that a Grixis dredge list won an RCQ? Yes, as a matter of fact, if you were following me on Twitter, you would actually see on the tweet that I posted today, we're going to be playing that after this. We are going to be playing some Grixis Dredge. Not confident that that deck is playable, but... Because I think that anything can win an RCQ. Anything except me. I can't win an RCQ. Oh, fuck. That's bad. They can sack it. Hmm. Wasted by my own Flamestoker. All right. Flamestoker, not great in this matchup. Turns out. Although we can probably kill them? Should be lethal, right? Yeah, Steamkin's also bad. Uh, math time. <coughs> so I can go Thrill Seeker, counters on Thopter, Spike Field, the Blood Tithe, Sack the Thrill Seeker, finish off the Blood Tithe. How much damage is that? One, two, three, four, five. Prowess Trigger is seven. Two counters is not. It's only nine damage? Am I just dumb? Oh, right, then I just sacked the Thopter post-combat. Do I have enough mana? One, two, three. Spike field, sack, sack. I have exactly enough? Okay, that's good. That works. 
Yeah, I have exactly enough mana to do that. Yeah, so we go Spike Field here. YME2 dead. Thank you for the three months. Do, 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 do. Oh, I forgot about the cat. I missed the cat. When, where did that get there? They discarded it off the fable. I just, it wasn't there before, so it wasn't like on my mind. I mean, we're already here, so. <laughs> already here, right? But yeah, the cat makes this a lot worse. They're on one. Hmm. Sack, go to 12, block here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, they go to two. They go to two. Maybe they'll miss the cat. Oh no, they go to three because they have the oven, yeah. They did not miss the cat. This might have been a throw. Might mess up. How would they mess up? I don't really think they can mess this up, right? Uh do I just not sack the Thopter then? I think I just don't sack the Thopter now. Mm -mm -mm. That's the way it is. I mean, we're dead. They drew four cards last turn. We are extremely dead. <laughs> this one's Jover. Well, once once I pass priority, I can no longer sack it. Because this only happens till the end of the turn. So once you say go, you can't sack it again. Mm -mm 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 -mm. We are, Sue, we are. Still got the new sub -not I mean, I'm going to keep that there for a while. It's kind of a, it's a really good sub notification. Your turn wasn't even that good. OK, we can win this game. We can win this game, chat. Uh, let's show down first. Their turn was not very good. It's a really good sub notification. Mm, not bad. So I have to kill the I have to kill the reflection, I think. By shock. They have two ovens. I don't know if I can afford to shock. What are they disputing now? Sure. Yeah, that's fine. <clears throat> I don't know why they're disputing now. Yeah, I think I don't shock. Is it lethal if I shock? Okay, let's think about this. Shock, swift spear, impulse. That's three more thopters. Impulse the reflection. They have two blockers. They can block... The, the swift spears in play will be threes, so they would block those swift spears... They can gain how much with the familiar? So they can go sack, rebuy, seven, sack, rebuy, eight, crack food, go to 11. So they go to 11, and that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think I'm one short. I know they have two ovens. Well, the bonus cat is less life than them to sack in the food, right? Oh, they have an extra blocker with the familiar. I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, in that case, I think we just don't shock. I think I'm just going to go play land tapped. Yeah, I'm not going to shock. I think I'm only going to send the flyers too. Yeah, I have to kill the reflection either way. This has to happen. Yep, this is exactly why I played my land first. One thing worth noting with Pia chat, uh, always you will 99% uh, of the time you're going to want to play your land first if you have an instant exiled with Pia. So if this happens, you can respond and cast your instant. If I did it in the other order, if I play the instant first, they kill Pia. I can't respond and play my land. Oh, these don't have haste. I see, I see, I see, I see. Okay, yeah, we definitely don't even have close to lethal then. So just four. I should be able to kill them next turn, though. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know why they're doing this now. <laughs> I guess they're doing it either way, and they know I'm tapped out. Yeah, I guess we died a devil. It's pretty wild. They've gone through almost half their deck and haven't found devil. Now that I say that, they're probably going to draw devil. Stealing Flameseeker. I guess they would have enough to go steal, sack. They have exactly enough to go steal, sack, play devil. Yeah. So many looks, too. I feel like we're dead. I feel dead. No devil, no devil, no devil, no devil, no devil. Okay, two lands. That's good. Pause champ. Pause champ. Pause champ. This has been a hell of a game. 
They might be able to gain enough life to not die, though. Right? They can sack three food? Yeah, we might not be able to kill them. Bump it, chat. Can we get some, uh, what's the, what's the cat jam party emote? That one, I love that part. That one. Chat, can you do me a favor and spam cat jam party? It's my favorite emote. If you could do that for me, that would be great. Yeah, this is game one, by the way. <laughs> They're almost down to 10 minutes. This has been a wild game, though, to be fair. Like, you can't, you can't blame them. My clock is pretty low, too. This has just been an absurd game. They are attacking with Cauldron Familiar. I'm going to go ahead and uh, block. I'm going to block. Block. Uh, chump, I guess? There's no reason to double block. It's too wide to Pyramid. Yeah, it's too wide. Wide cat, wide cat. What did we draw? Oh, that's good. <laughs> that's a good one. All right, that's probably lethal. <laughs> that's a good one. That is a good one. Qualifies. That's probably lethal. Also, they're not F6-ing, which, which means they're going to be even more likely to time out. They probably should. I mean, they can't really F6, right, with the ovens. But we should be able to kill them. We could probably go through our entire deck. Yeah, it should be easy to go through the whole deck. <clears throat> okay, remember to stack the triggers correctly. This way. Uh, let's go impulse, I guess. Maybe I should start putting counters on Thopters. I think I should, right? One mana floating. Yeah, I should start putting counters on Thopters, I think. Because I do need to actually deal them lethal damage. <clears throat> Once we find a second Steamkin, it's better. Do I have Steamkins left, actually? I don't know. I'm just going to keep going. It's fine. That's bad. I guess we still have the Flame Stoker. So we can go Fiery Impulse, the Harvester. Uh, counter here. And then remove mana, sack the Flame Stoker. <clears throat> I'm just going to do this now. Oh no, they sack the Harvester. Right, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Edge. Edge. It might just time out before game one even finishes. It legit might just time out before game one finishes. Uh, okay, that should be good enough. So now we can go Ren's Resolve, counter here. All right, I don't play anymore. <clears throat> go next. <laughs> they have nine minutes to win two games. Oh, there's no ad? Okay, 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 okay. Why are we listening to this bass music? Why not? That was a wild game. Crazy that they didn't find Mayhem Devil in the top, like, 32 cards of their deck. Kind of insane. Uh, all right, a Braid, Redain. I think that's all I want. Are we over with the song request? Is that it? It is. Thank you for participating in Old School Wednesday, I guess we'll call it. What do you cut against Sack? Should I cut the Flamestokers? They are kind of a liability, right? I guess Thrillseeker is also a liability. Hmm. This is weird. Flames adding Flamestoker and Thrillseeker to our deck makes us a lot worse against the card claim the firstborn. <laughs> uh, that's that's something that I did not think of when I was doing this. When we added these cards. Maybe I bring in Gobacon? Alright, I'm gonna try something weird. I'm gonna do this. This looks really weird, but I'm gonna try it. Yeah, I guess Thrillseeker kind of self-protects itself, because you can just sack the Thrillseeker in response. Yeah, it was fun. Uh, this hand's good. This hand's good. Yeah, I'm actually thinking that Gobacon... Like, the cool thing about Gobacon, too, is if you can flip it early, which is not easy to do, but if you can sneak in a flip, like, a really quick, like, a, a, a cheeky flip, uh, the plus one, plus one counters really fucks with their Mayhem Devil turns, because, like, you have some X1s and stuff, so it makes it harder for their Mayhem Devils to be able to just shotgun all your stuff. 
Yeah, Ring of Three Wishes, if only. We could have Ring of Three Wishes for the other ring. We could have had Ring Tribal, Aladdin's Ring. What other rings are there? Rings of Bright Hearth. Just actual Ring Tribal. Oh, we're song requesting for Kesha now. Let's go. I guess Impulse is the best if they have Fatal Push, so let's do that. Yeah, Aladdin's Ring too. Ring of Maroof. I should spike the power of Ring of, Mar Ring of Maroof today. He was very impressed. Unfortunately, Ring of Maroof is not legal in Modern, or else I would consider playing it. Can you request some Cannibal Corpse? Absolutely. Only if it's uh, Evisceration Plague. It is a banger. Would a God's Willing for Protection? If you wanted to play a Protection spell on the sideboard, you would just play Surge. Surge is the best one. Scourge of Iron's good, too. Mm. All right, how do we want to sequence this? They currently do not have Fatal Push up. I think I just want to go Ia, land from hand, resolve, make a 1-1. One, one. And the nice thing about that is if I play Steamkin into resolve, they can just sack the Harvester and kill Steamkin. But P is a 2-3, so if they don't have a removal spell in hand, they can't kill the Pia necessarily, so I think that's better. Probably attack. Those are really good hits. I guess we can't cast both of these next turn. Thrillseeker has been kind of medium. I think Thrillseeker was more of an experiment than anything. But moving forward, I think, I'm, I think I'd cut it. I haven't been that impressed with it. It seems a lot. It seems very win more, where it's only really good when you're going off with Showdown of the Scalds. But once you've untapped with Showdown and you're on Chapter Two, you should probably be winning those games most of the time, anyways. And as just like a three mana value card, it hasn't been that good. No, Backside of Redain does not stop Cat. Unfortunately, it only stops it stops Mayhem Devil, but not Cat because Cat's life loss. Yeah, we kind of expected that to happen. That was expected. Still don't have a land. Um, I mean, I guess we just, what, abrade the oven, hardcast Redain? Because if I play the backside of Redain, they still have cat oven going. What's better? I actually don't know what's better. This is kind of close, isn't it? I think I'm going to go with the abrade line. Not sure on this one, though. This one's close. The fact that I get the double spell is good. Yeah, that's the issue, is like, if I take this line and they draw land three for Mayhem Devil, it's a lot worse. Because they they almost certainly have Devil in their hand, right? So this line is worse against Devil. Oh, frenzies now. I have Alchemy every time. Yeah, I'm just worried that, like, at 11 against a two, effectively a 2-1 or a 2-2 and Cat Oven, like... Valkmiria pass, I take three, I go to eight, they drain me to seven. Eh, maybe you're right. Well, also, the other argument is if I kill their oven, Mayhem Devil's not even that bad for me. Because if they go Mayhem Devil this turn, they don't have the oven in play anymore. Uh, I think I just trade. I gotta take this trade. I need to keep my life total high. The shield is very good in this matchup, I agree. Now I think we go Steamkin Showdown. Ooh, that's interesting. That is interesting. Well, now we can just go Steamkin Impulse Chained. Let's go Steamkin Impulse and then go from there. I want to kill this Shaman Token, though, because they've been really light on mana. We can Impulse first, and if we find a Fiery Impulse, we can do that and then save the chain for Mayhem Devil. Let's cast Reckless Impulse. They still have not been able to find the F6 button. Uh, that works too. I think I'm going to save the second chained for Devil. Uh, let's do this, I think. Then we can leave this back to block. You got Seeker for Play with Fire. Uh, if I wanted to run this back without Seeker, I definitely don't think you want the third drum. I think two drum is good. You know what I kind of want? I kind of want a second spike field hazard. Because I want a mana source, but I also want another prowess trigger. So I think I'd, I might actually consider playing a second spike field. Maybe like second spike field and 
Looks like a Miser is one of we could play. Maybe like a main deck of Braid. No, I think I like Spike Field better than Shatter Skull. Spike Field is a much better card to actually draw because you don't really generate that much mana, except for on your combo turn, and it's kind of win more on that turn. Oh, they just don't have Devils, so I guess that's fine. Eh, I don't know if I like Burgi. Three mana is kind of a lot. I did Turtle Power. It's in the queue. I think I saw yours. Yeah, I saw yours. It's in the queue. Let's go Steamkin first. And then we get to go one, two, three, four. Play Showdown. <laughs> yeah, I've demonstrated a loop. What about your suggestion of Codex Shredder? No, I, I missed that one. Thankfully, I didn't see that. Although now that you've told me, I'm kind of mad. Those are good cards. Weirdly enough, I think the only way I can lose this game is if I take unnecessary damage, so I'm just not going to shock. I'm just going to do this. Yeah, I'm just not shocking here. Uh, Alright, you can go. I'll kill you next turn. As long as I don't take unnecessary damage, we, we will win this game. I guess I don't really have that many spells left over to go with the showdown next turn. I'm going to an RCQ, going to play Convoke, any advice? Uh, play Burning Tree, play Giant Killer, don't play Legion Loyalist. Maybe, maybe go like, I think the numbers that I've liked are 3 Forbidden Friendship, 3 Giant Killer, 2 Legion Landing. And there's like one flex spot that I still don't know what I should play. You could play like one Legion Loyalist. You could play the fourth Forbidden Friendship. You could play an extra land if you want to play a castle. All right. Three and one. Let's get a prediction going. Uh, Azerorak? Jesus. Azerorak? I've never... What? How do you get Azerorak out of that? Don't make it too late. We can do yours first. I'll do it. The, I'll do it the very first league that I play. How's that? They reveal Kekruga. 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 Yeah, the sub notification is great. God damn it. <laughs> ah. Max punished. Oh, I didn't find a land either. Well. Yes, it was not meant to be. Please give me a land. Just trolling me deck. Just trolling me. I have to gamble. I have to. Surely I'll hit a land, right? Bro! Bro, what the fuck? <laughs> How? Literally how? How is this happening? No, we're going to play it right after this mixtape. How could this happen? Good thing they have a Heliod, the Radiant Dawn. Yeah, thanks. Right on time, asshole. Right on time. Thanks, broski. Yeah, lands please, Papega phone. If they brick this hand, this game is maybe still winnable. Oh, that's not true. They have Karuga. Yeah, okay. Maybe wouldn't have won that game even if I drew lands, to be fair. Well, you see. Let's bring in these. Get these impulses out of here. I'm going to keep the chains, I think. Got Thrillseeker. Yeah, let's go with that. Heliod the Radiant Dawn was the uh, the new one from March Machines. They usually play one to search for with Enigmatic. I think it's a good one of. I like that card a lot. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Uh, this hand's good. Not good if they have Lockdown, but none of my hands are good against Lockdown. Chain is bad versus Norn. I understand that, but Chain kills their Fable tokens, and you need something for Fable. Uh, I'm going to lead with Swift Spear, I think. Like, the reason I'm keeping in Chain over Fiery Impulse for Fable is because Chain is higher upside if they don't have Elish Norn. Like, imagine a world... Imagine a world where they go, like, I don't know, Enigmatic into a 4-drop. 
right? In, the, in those spots, your Fiery Impulse is not killing their 4-drop, but it's the turn before they Elish Nord you, and your chain is still live that turn. It is nice that we get the showdown before they before they have an opportunity to lock down us. So we might actually be able to kill them next turn. Even if they... Mm, I was going to say, even if... Oh, they're definitely dead now. I was going to say, if they lock down us, we might be able to kill them. But now we can almost certainly kill them. Oh, uh, I guess that's not sure. We're out of cards, right? Yeah, we don't have ways to draw cards. So how much do we commit? Sucks that I also can't kill the Fable token. Light, uh, have I heard of Light the City? No, I've not heard of them yet. This is awkward. Do I have enough to trigger Flamestoker? I might, do I have enough mana to, to trigger Flamestoker? I might actually have enough mana. I think I have enough mana to trigger Flamestoker, right? Because so I can go land here. <sighs> do I play the, do I play the Steamkin? Oh yeah, I do play the Steamkin. Okay. Yeah, this might be good enough, actually. This might be enough. Uh, turn off auto yields, just so I don't mess up the auto yields again. And then we go... Red Flame Stoker. Uh, counter on this Steamkin. Resolve, Resolve, Resolve. Make three red... Play Flame Stoker. Yeah, this should be enough, right? Counter here. Go here. Go here. Resolve that. And then we can go Spike Field. I guess them? Yeah, there's no point in killing the Goblin Shaman token. Because I don't have another Spike Field in my deck. And then we go Counter. No. Oh, I missed, ah, I missed, I missed the mana, I missed the mana, my bad, my bad, my bad. Did miss a little bit of mana. Might actually cost me here. Move, counter. Oh, it's definitely going to cost me, isn't it? Oh, uh, no. Well, might have bricked anyways. Yeah, because even if I had even if I had one more counter, I think I still would have bricked there, right? Yeah, I think I still would have bricked. Oh, well. Probably dead. Now they're going to cast Lockdown. Sucks. Bricked off pretty hard, to be fair. No, they definitely have Lockdown. Oh, OK, well, <laughs> never mind. Their hand just sucks ass. <laughs> never mind. Their hand's just unplayable. I lied. I lied, chat. <laughs> their hand just sucks. Oh, their hand just sucks. All right. Game three. Game three. Game three. <laughs> no second white. They could have attacked with the Shaman token to get a second white mana. They also discarded a Sacred Foundry, but they had white mana because they had one white source in play and they just attack with the Shaman token. Yeah, they could they could just fire us into lockdown, too. Yeah, the more I play this deck, the more I realize this version feels a lot more... This is just a combo deck. Like, this is this is the combo version of the deck. Which is probably a good place to be. They kept seven. Oh, this hand is awkward. If the spike field was an untapped land, I would snap keep. So the way that I probably have to play this hand is spike field on one, sacred foundry gobacon on two, and then turn three impulse land flame stoker that a good enough curve on the draw it's not bad yeah maybe we should have a smashing instead of the spike field hazard yeah i'm definitely gonna play spike field on one i'm, I'm gonna keep this hand though i'm gonna I'm, you have to play spike field on one unless i draw an untapped land i mean did you ever like assume that i did wasn't gonna have it what do you think this is uh Sunfall, Lockdown, Fires, Clever, Impersonator. Their Fires are locked down. I, I'm actually thinking about letting them lock down me. It's only a two for one. I almost want to take Fires. 
I take fires, attack Gobicon for two. They have to lock down. Well, that's not true. They can still wait. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the fires. I think I like taking fires. Trying to consume. It's close. It's like worst case scenario for me. Ah, oh, that's so bad. That is worst case scenario. I can go chain token spike field. No, I have to play spike field as a land. Just call like chain token. Don't play a spell. Don't play the flame stoker into the lockdown. Table is such a sick draw. Yeah, I think I have to do this. God, it feels so bad though. I can't give them another thing with the lockdown. But I mean, this should force them to cast the lockdown this turn. I don't think they're going to let me have Light Shield Array for a while. It should force the lockdown this turn. And then we can just go from there. No, I don't think I need to commit the Flame Stoker. I think this is enough for them to cast the lockdown. Especially because they don't really have a good other play. You know what I mean? The, the rest of their hand just doesn't do anything. So what's their other play if they're not casting lockdown this turn? I guess they could pick up Karuga or something. But then I'm like kind of okay with that. Discarded clever in person. Come on, man. <laughs> God damn it. The thought sees bug is real. There's no shot you're not cast. Yeah, I, I. So it's Arx, thank you for the raid. Yeah, and I broke down land. God damn it. So they have breeding pool, sunfall in hand. They have a fa they have a fires exiled. I mean, I thought we were fine, but I invasion them, and then they just drew, like, back-to-back -back best possibles. So gross. Ah, <sighs> this game was winnable, until they drew back-to-back -back best possibles. So they probably go Karuga draw three. Alrighty, then. Okay. What am I supposed to do, man? What am I supposed to do? I don't know what you want from me. <laughs> I just, I don't know what you want from me, man. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> so funny. All right, let's play some dredge. Let's play some dredge. That was hilarious.